Picture below shows the bridges of Michigan. You decide to take a road trip and want to cross all the bridges. Draw a graph that shows the layout of the land and connecting bridges using Ontario, the Upper Peninsula, and the Lower Peninsula as your vertices. An edge indicates a bridge connecting each piece of land. So once we do this, we're going to figure out if this graph has an Euler path or a circuit. So the first thing I want to do is mark out the pieces of land. So they tell us to use a vertex for Ontario. So in this picture, we can see that all of this land to the right is Ontario. So I'm just going to use one dot to represent that. We'll use another dot for the upper peninsula. And then a dot for the lower peninsula. Within our picture, we can see where the bridges are. So we have one from Sault Ste. Marie in the Upper Peninsula that connects the Upper Peninsula to Ontario. So with an edge, we're going to connect that. Okay, so that edge is indicating that there is a bridge connecting the Upper Peninsula to Ontario. We also have a bridge connecting the Upper Peninsula to the Lower Peninsula. That's your Mackinac Bridge. So we'll connect the Upper to the Lower. Okay, we have the Ambassador Bridge that connects the Lower Peninsula to Canada. Now I'm going to connect these together. Understand that I'm not saying that this bridge is over this part of the body of water. I'm just saying that with this edge, that there is a connection between the Lower Peninsula and Ontario. In addition to that bridge, we also have the Blue Water Bridge that connects from Port Huron into Ontario. So I'm going to say that there's another bridge connecting the Lower Peninsula to Ontario. Okay, so let me just extract this picture to the right of this. So we have three vertices. We have the Upper Peninsula, we have the Lower Peninsula, and then Ontario. One bridge from the Upper to Ontario one between the upper and the lower peninsula, and then two between the lower peninsula and Ontario. So now what the goal is, is to figure out, will this have an Euler path or an Euler circuit? So the way we figure that out is by looking at the degree of each vertex. So what we're going to do is take a look at how many edges are going into each vertex. So looking at the upper peninsula, I'm just going to grab a different color so you can see what I'm doing here. In the upper peninsula, I have two edges that are going into that, so this would have a degree of 2. With Ontario, we have 1, 2, 3. Again, this just indicates that there's three bridges that go into Ontario. And then in the Lower Peninsula, we have 1, 2, 3 as well. So as you can see, we have a pair of odd vertices. So based on that, this means that we will have an Euler path, because we have a set of odd vertices. Will we have an Euler circuit? An Euler circuit is determined if you have all even vertices. So just by having this one that's an odd uh, degree means that there is no Euler circuit. So it will be impossible to trace all of these bridges and get back to where you started if you only do the bridges once. But because there is an Euler path, let's try to find it. Actually, we'll just use this picture. So I'm going to start from Ontario just because there's three on there. Um, I wouldn't want to start from the upper because there's only two. I'm just going to start from Ontario. So from Ontario, uh, let me go to the lower peninsula. So I'm going to use this first edge. Let me call this edge number one. From the Lower Peninsula, I'm going to go to the Upper Peninsula, so let me call this Edge 2. From the Upper, I have no choice but to go to Ontario, so let me call that Edge 3. And then from Ontario, I can go to the Lower Peninsula again, let me call that Edge 4. So as you can see, I traced all of the edges once and only once, but remember that I started in Ontario. So if I follow this path, I'm going to end at the Lower Peninsula. So this is an Euler path because I ended in a different spot from where I started.